friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquake update, volcanoes, and world weather forecast. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, still observing those bright sunspot regions earth facing as well we have a large plasma filament that ejected from the northern hemisphere of our sun this is something i was watching over the last few days for sure as it was a large one and it popped off and now we have a cme on its way to earth having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming small glitch there speeding up the frames in this view right now Solar Dynamics Observatory of providing all of these images. Looking at outgoing imagery here, and you can see on the left-hand side that large plasma filament eruption that did take off towards us. Another closer look here at the event, and as well, the Earth-facing sunspots. In the southwest region, we had a plasma filament take off just before this large one and you can see it creates a large tsunami on the sun as it fell back into the sun and half of it whipped away. Amazing imagery here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see that large black line in the northern hemisphere that was the plasma filament stretched across the surface and as I said, some of it lifted away and the other slapped back onto the surface. 193 angstroms. We have no earth-facing coronal holes, but we do have a coronal hole region moving in, cresting right now on the left-hand side. Another look at those active sunspots. That one in the northern hemisphere is very large, probably about the size of two Earths put together amazing solar system we're living in and our sun is pretty active looking at the iswa space prediction spiral showing that cme taking off towards earth and it will be arriving on july 20th into the 21st and we're going to get a big slap from this space weather event as you can see all of that red is heading straight towards us so watch for uh, g1 to g2 geomagnetic storm July 20th into the 21st from this large CME event. Heads up. Solar X-ray flux remains slightly elevated in C range, but nothing major has been shot out from our sun for solar, fl solar flares. Real-time solar wind was sitting at about 570 kilometers per second, and this has been streamlined pretty much all day long, over 550 kilometers per second. Density bunches up over 12. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 68. A very high power of 68. Two very charged moments around noon. And as well midnight. Amplitude of 68. Quality of 8. Power of 58. Frequency minimum 7.3 hertz. So due to the storm coming in on the 15th, this is our geomagnetic storm right now. We are under R1 radio alert levels. So northern lights and auroras will be seen tonight across Canada and then overnight across the other side of the world. As we did just have a pretty sizable earthquake, a 6.4 off the coast of Chile, a San Chile, at a 10 kilometer depth and I was just about to release and upload the video and it just happened so quick update there 6.4 earthquake Chile looking at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours things are picking up sitting at about 290 earthquakes across the USGS map largest being the 5.8 here in Vanuatu followed by a 5.1 as well the Tonga region 4.5 pretty quiet today only 200 kilometer depth Quiet across the Philippines plate as well. Only one earthquake to report. San Lorenzo, 4.6. As well, Taiwan with a 4.3. Rare earthquake here in Chagos, 
archipelago, archipelago region, 4.9 there, south of the Indian Ocean. Looking at Hawaii, largest through the region, 3.4. Active right across the Aleutian Islands here and into Alaska. Seeing a minor swarm occurring in Alaska right now. Across the North American plate, United States saw a pretty sizable earthquake this morning, a 4.6 ringing out in Ridgecrest, California, and pretty widespread right across the Pacific Northwest right now, and as well White City, New Mexico there, a small swarm. USGS reporting 284 earthquakes in the earthquake map area. Just wanted to show you here exactly where this earthquake is in Ridgecrest as we're seeing about 30 earthquakes in the region, so minor swarm is occurring at Ridgecrest right now, followed by, or following the 4.6 earthquake that rung out this morning. Other than that, across the US, no other major or notable qu quakes to talk about. Regular earthquakes through the Springs area Nothing major up through Yellowstone, Pacific Northwest, as I said, showing minor activity right up into Canada. And carry on here into the Cocos Plate, 4.4 here, El Salvador, and then a 4.0 here reported Dominican Republic, 32 kilometer depth, and Pretty rare, 5.4 in Venezuela, 108 kilometer depth as well today, and as well a 5.7 Ecuador, 73 kilometer depth. Two pretty deep earthquakes. Watch for some rumbling or volcanoes erupting through the area. 4.5 there, Chile, 4.4 Peru, and as well a 4.3 Oval, Chile. Other than that, not much to talk about from around the rest of the world. Most of the action here is in North and South America right now. Have a quick look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. As we did have that large earthquake, 6.8, two days ago, Easter Island, that's the largest reported the last seven days. We've seen some pretty deep earthquakes this week. Fiji region, as well, Mariana's Trench, Indian plate seeing activity. But as I said, most of the activity here is in South America, North America, Central America. Heads up and just have a plan, everybody. No fear here. It's all about being aware and prepared. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and as well most recent satellite imagery from around the world. There are a lot of flood alerts across the world as well. Fires breaking out in Spain, Africa, Alaska. And now let's find the volcanoes here. Karamiski in Russia, Dokono in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, A lot of extreme heat conditions. Ebeko in Russia, Manam, Papua New Guinea, Suiza de Jima, Japan, Shevelich in Russia, Nevada's to Chilean, Colombia. And that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 active and erupting across the world. Looking at satellite imagery, we do have one named tropical storm and we also have another tropical storm that has just formed and that is invest area tropical depression 6e just south of mexico in the pacific ocean we also have tropical storm darby who is still a category three heading westward looks like it's just gonna head just south of hawaii in the long range forecast so stay tuned to the daily forecast and we'll let you know where it's going Looking around the rest of the world, a lot of cloud cover and still a lot of monsoon rains across Southeast Asia, 
India, as well parts of Southeast Australia and the East Coast of Australia still experiencing a lot of flooding conditions. Hot and dry through Africa. Extreme heat moving up into Europe. And as well, fires breaking out across France and Spain over the past 24 hours. Extreme heat conditions building in. And as well, extreme heat conditions moving into Canada, United States, moving eastward. Pretty big system there off the coast of Spain. Too bad it didn't bring any moisture to the country. Looking at satellite imagery here, we looks like we just missed a pretty large system developing. See that low pressure center grinding up into Florida. That did not become a tropical storm, thank God. We'll see what it does in the long range forecast here. Let's have a look at Venti Sky for the world weather forecast. Overlooking North America, two low pressure systems heading through the countries this week, Saturday into Sunday. A low through the states and as well a low heading through Manitoba. But it could get pretty intense and you could have some extreme weather on your doorstep, northeastern and eastern parts of the United States. As the convergence line sweeps through and warm temperatures coming with it. Looking across western parts, low pressure system into the BC coast, central regions, but still pretty dry across southern BC right now. Watch for stormy conditions along the border Saturday into Sunday especially into the states. Tropical, tropical Depression 6E. Looks like it's going to be heading out into the Pacific with this forecast model. Not affecting land or any humans. South America. Low pressure center through southern Chile. And another low pressure just off the coast of Buenos Aires. Other than that, no major weather conditions heading your way this week, except for possible heavy snow, southern Chile, as cold and rain moves in. Overlooking Africa, no major weather changes there either. Central regions, daily evaporation rains, and then a low pressure center here, heading through western parts. Looks like it'll leave the land Friday, next Friday, and then possibly head westward or get blown out by the high pressure ridge in the Atlantic. Overlooking a Europe, you don't really have much of a relief coming in, in a way of moisture at all. No low pressure systems heading into you this week. Mostly high pressure, dry and warm conditions. And then we get to Southeast Asia, India. Still watching those monsoon rains daily come through. Watch for heavy rains to move into Japan later in the week. And then we've got this big bundle of moisture. In the South Indian Ocean. Heavy rains moving into Papua New Guinea this week. But no major typhoons or tropical systems developing through the West Pacific. Overlooking Australia and into New Zealand. Watch for Saturday into Sunday. Cold front to sweep across southeastern parts of Australia. And then in the long range, watch for a pretty hefty and wet system to head into the eastern east coast of Australia and then head down into New Zealand. Pretty sizable low pressure system there. But looks like it's going to get blocked by a huge high pressure ridge hanging out over New Zealand. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. 
and get your daily do. Bye-bye now.